All right, y'all, so this is part two. Go back to part one to catch up. Okay, so I've been talking about how your masculine feels about you. Um, but for the most part, it's yeah, it's like they feel like they will fail at this. It's an illusion for real because the moon card is here. If they, if only they would just trust their intuition, they would realize that it's impossible to fail. <laughs> yep, ten of swords comes out. They're afraid that it's going to be a bad ending because they have already betrayed you. And so I feel like they may be afraid that they will continue to do it because they have habits. Okay. They have patterns. They have addictions. Look, the world card clarifying the world card. Okay. One reverse and one upright. It's like some things here still haven't come full circle. Um, and it's like they want to be able to achieve this goal, but it's like they have not had success at it before. Okay. Especially when it comes to you, they, they have disappointed you a lot and they know they may have burdened you um because of some of the things that they have done okay so in their mind it's just like you know i've already felt miserably at this <laughs> i may still continue to do those things and i don't want to keep hurting my divine feminine if i know i'm not fully ready so this is why they're not taking action are they working on themselves i got the eight of cups coming i'm seeing it boom I got the higher font sitting in there, boom, and then the three of swords in the reverse. So, yes, they are working on their healing, okay? Eight of cups coming out, right? Walking away from the cups that no longer serve them is trying to stay committed here to their journey, to the process, so that they can be ready for commitment, okay? So, I'm like, what is that noise? It's like, Y'all probably can't hear it. I got my boom mic in. I mean, my lapel mic in. But I think somebody's vacuum cleaning, but I've never heard it like this clear before. So let's see something here. What is it here that Divine Feminine need to know at this moment? <clears throat> So I'm pulling right now from the Divine Feminine deck, you guys. And it says, the goddess of discernment. I spoke about this in the beginning of part one, right? I spend my time wisely. I only say yes when it's a holy hell. Yeah. Okay. So it got to be a holy hell yes in order for you to say yes, babies. All right. Freesia. If it goes against your integrity, honey, no. Mm -mm. I can't. <laughs> And be just as confident as ever about it. Mm -mm. <laughs> Let's see. And trust me, your masculine is not even going to be mad, okay? They actually be kind of happy that you stand up for yourself, to be honest. It's like what I just heard, it's like a challenge, Okay. They are so used to the karmic people in their life just kind of like doing any and everything to try to keep them, right? And you, when you don't do it, when you stay in your ground, when you speak up for yourself, you're, you're showing yourself to be, um, you, you got to be held in high standard. You understand? You're not the same as everybody else, okay? So you operate in your empress energy. Um, and this is what makes you stand out from the rest, all right? But it says discernment is derived from the Greek word diachristus. It refers to a spiritual power that allows you to distinguish between the spirits that will cause harm and the spirits that will assist you. It lets us discern when a phone call or an email or a visit from a friend is going to add to our day or if it's going to derail it. Discernment is the difference between feeling led by the day, pulled this way and that, and claiming it. Our time in this lifetime, at least, is limited. Every second is significant. Freesia reminds us of the searing perception we all have, but perhaps don't use frequently enough. She wants us to be discerning with how we choose to spend our time and whom we choose to love. She wants us to never ever say yes to anything or anyone from a place of fear or obligation. You are a demigoddess, okay? A priestess of your own faith. You get to choose the life you want to live. And this happens by being fierce and warrior-like about what you say yes to. 
Use discernment so that you are only saying yes to what will actually nourish and renew you, inspire or expand you. It's not your business to worry about those you might disappoint. You were not made to meet everyone's expectation of you. You are made to express the truth of who you are and to use the brief time you have here to live out your potential. Nothing is obligatory except breathing. You only, your only true obligation is to the voice of your own soul. So Frisia wants you to realize the gleaming goal that you are and act accordingly. She wants you to unapologetically choose the life you actually want to be living right now. She wants you to make your yes holy again by only using it when it is in truth. So what does a hell yes, the holy yes, feel like in your body's divine film? Okay, so... <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> why why are you telling them to only say yes? What are they doing? That that they're doing out of obligation. What are they doing that they're doing out of obligation? Eight of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. And what I feel like it is, it's like you may be, instead of moving on and letting go, okay, of a certain pattern, and I'm going to pull on that Eight of Cups, right? It's like, it feels almost as if you feel like you have to work with them because of who they are, right? Because they're your divine counterpart. But in reality, what you're being guided to do is what? To withdraw your energy, go within, walk away if you're disappointed. If it's not aligned with your integrity, you got to go. If there's still abandonment happening, and even it may not even be them really literally abandoning you, they're going to mirror that back to you and it feels like that. But if you reach your limit, right? If all of these feelings kind of stir up inside of you about this, then this means it calls for you to look deeper within OK, and then begin to move forward. This is when you have to be like, oh, yeah, hell no. OK, and the only time you can say hell yeah is if they're working with you. If you guys are sharing the same goals, if you guys are learning from each other, if you guys are committing to the journey, committing to evolving together, collaborating. You know what I'm saying? This is the only time you should be saying a hell yeah. If it's not an equal give and take, then it means you have to move forward okay um and this is how you're gonna keep the balance is what i just heard yep empress boom this is how you're gonna keep the balance within your own self okay because remember this isn't about you being in alignment with your masculine it's about you being in alignment with self your own inner masculine and feminine energies because they are your soul, they're going to automatically align with you and become a vibrational match. So that means at all times, you have to remain in Empress energy. So even if you find yourself slipping, you know, we got the tools that we need to get back into our divine feminine energy. We got the tools that we need. Just remember to be kind to yourself. And remember that when you are in alignment, you do what? You attract the circumstances that lead to your happiness. But when you're feeling insecure, <clears throat> lack in the growth <clears throat> what ends up happening hold on something trying to stop me from talking y'all that shit be crazy <laughs> it makes it difficult for you to maintain this connection with your person one day at a time is what i just heard <laughs> step by step that's all you gotta focus on listen to your intuition and just allow it to guide you on this journey if you're feeling like you know, you just can't, then you need to reach out to your spirit team to help you. Um, You don't have to do it alone. All right. This is one of these journeys where we got massive support. We got cheat sheets. We got all that shit. We be making it difficult. Okay. So utilize the tools that you have to get through this. All right. So, and I'm here with you as a twin flame facilitator, I guess, to help you guys to be able to push through the rest of this journey okay y'all don't forget to dive into your light work because that's what's most important because this is what we're here to do all right so i love you guys don't forget to hit the like button peace <laughs>